What is going on, guys? It is Bradley Freakin. I'm going to be uploading some unique GeoGuessr content uh, today. I upload actually a lot, but usually these videos are unlisted for myself mainly. Um, I post them up so that I can look at them at a later date and see kind of what improvement I've made over time, but I don't want anyone else to kind of see that improvement. So I have quite a few unlisted videos on YouTube. Um, maybe I'll unlist them or delete them. I don't know. Still deciding what to do there. But um, today in marking of this beautiful, nice, new, clean GeoGuessr UI, I have decided to uh, upload this video normally and go through the GeoGuessr daily, kind of highlighting my thought process as to um, why I'm picking a certain country or region. Um, and hopefully we can kind of learn some stuff together. That's the whole goal of this. Um, a little bit about me, seeing as this is a new type of video. Um, I've been playing for about two years uh, on GeoGuessr, despite this saying 8.6. I think that's just when I renewed my yearly subscription. I'm just currently sitting at 11.31, and it looks like I've got a few thousand games under my belt. So, been playing for a hot minute, but that doesn't mean anything. There are always players better. So, without further ado, we are going to jump right into the daily and see what happens. I do try to play every day. Some, night, some days I miss. Um, I don't know if any of my friends have played today's. Nope, looks like no one has played, none of my friends have played today for December 12th. So we're gonna jump right in and just kind of go through this thought process. Okay. So immediately off the bat, um, we can see these giant um, banners through astute observation uh, that we are in Cambodia. Uh, sometimes you'll see these in red. Um, sometimes you'll also see these Angkor. So it's nice that we have both of them side by side. Um, Cambodia is pretty straightforward, but the Angkor, you can kind of think of Angkor Wat, uh, and both of those, if you see them, you should be in Cambodia. We have some short white plates. What else do we see? I can go ahead and click Cambodia, but I want to just go through some of uh, the other hints here that we know that this is Cambodia. Another thing is that we have uh, this unique writing style here that is unique to Cambodia, and this is called Khmer. Um, it's really indic indicative of uh, this country. You have the kind of jagged edges that you see. This unique font almost looks like uh, cursive. And then you have these apostrophes. All of that is very unique. We have the white Google car if you are into the meta. And we have the .kh. Normally these country domains are the first two letters of the country, like NO being Norway. Um, but in Cambodia, that is actually not the case. It is KH standing for Khmer. So all of this, we know that we are in Cambodia 100%. Um, as for the region, this looks fairly populous. Uh, it doesn't look like we're in the rural areas of the forests of Cambodia. So um, I think that I think that uh, Phnom Penh is probably going to be our best guess here. We might be in another city, but I think Phnom Penh just looks good to me. So we will plonk it there and see what happens. Looks like we were actually in Krong. Uh, so we are about 70 miles away, but um, not a bad score for Cambodia. So round two. Getting the total vibes here. We are in the EU. Okay. Long antenna. And this obvious um, domain name. So just like in the last round, we had the .kh for Cambodia. This round we have the .lv so that we know that we are in Latvia. Um, Sometimes even the, before the domain, you'll see the city or the region. I'm not familiar with butts. Hopefully that is not a region. It looks like it's just a company here. Um, but sometimes on these signs, you might see stuff. I'm not too familiar with the Latvian area code. Someone might know that. Uh, 18 November. And I think right here, I think that says res... Is that Riznekin? Is that what that says? I believe that is a city. Let me do a high level Latvia. Res. What did it say? Res. Yeah, Riznekin. Yes. I knew I'd seen it before. So we will just plunk this in somewhere that looks right in Riznekin. Let's go here. And yeah. Nice. That was almost a perfect score. But then again, Res, Resink, Resinkny, Resinkny is a very really small city. So um, not too bad of a score there. I really like that. Let's go to round three. 
Okay, this will be a lot more difficult here. We do have a little bit of a waste zone here. It doesn't look like it's colored, unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, we have the short antenna. Hardly any road lines. We just have these white dotted road lines. Pretty bad road. General vibes. I'm kind of getting maybe Hungary, Romania. Um, not used to that waystone, though. Usually they have at least numbers on them. Looks like we do have a sign down there. We have mountains all around us. This is definitely not an easy one. <clears throat> so I wasn't moving, but for the sake of the video and for us learning together, I will move uh, to kind of see what we see down here. Hopefully this sign language will tell us where we are. We have white painted trees still on track with our guesses. Chitid. Unfortunately, there are no specific symbols on that sign. Chitid, and this is in Romania, Jun Hunedora. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and if we wanted, we can go ahead and put this in Romania. I'm not sure where Jude Hunedora is. Hunedora, Hunedora. Ah, Hunedora, yes. Okay, should be around here. And that does kind of make sense for the mountains. Um, <clears throat> the mountains in Romania make this kind of J shape here. And usually, if you are in a mountainous region, you are on that J. Um, here, it's actually kind of flat, but you have mountains around us. So we're not in the mountains. And it looks like if you look at this clearing, you can see mountains on the left and on the right side of us. So I feel like that is correct here. We will go a little bit further, see if we see any more clues just to kind of help with the, the, the tips here. Yeah, we do have some thick holy poles that have white paint on the bottom of them. If they did not have the white paint, that's kind of indicative of Hungary. But a lot of times in Romania, you'll see this white paint on the bottom of these thick holy poles. So um, pretty much everything here tells us that this is uh, Romania. And I think that we have the right region. So we will go ahead and plunk this. And yeah, oh, I should have looked for cheated. I remember seeing that. That was just laziness on my part. So bad on me. Always look for the region. All right. Going on to round four here. Looks like this should be Eswa. Yeah. Um, it almost looked a little bit Lesotho at first with some of these mountains, um, but they look a little bit too green and we have trees everywhere. Some people called Eswatini Eswatrini. Good way to remember the difference between the two countries. Um, we know that we're in an African country, but based on skin color, yellow lines. Um, some people, these, these chevrons actually aren't too helpful. You see these red and white chevrons in Eswa, Lesotho, South Africa, Botswana. So this really doesn't narrow it down from what we already kind of knew it was. Um, unfortunately, here is just kind of uh, the foliage, the terrain. Uh, the white Google car helps a little. Um, but yeah, this should be Eswatini, and it looks fairly urban for Eswa. Um, so I will actually put this in Mabane, if I can remember where I am. We will just plop this. I actually think that looks like we have a roundabout here. Roundabout, roundabout. Uh, where is one? Here's one. To our north? Sure, lines up. Let's do it. And we were about a, a little over a mile away. I was fairly confident it was going to be Mabamne, um, but nothing too special there. That was kind of a more difficult one if you haven't seen Eswatini before. Um, it's kind of just the terrain. It has a very unique look to it. Sometimes you'll see the grass, uh, Eswatini grass, but I didn't see much of it there. So, All right, uh, going into our final round here. Without the Google Car meta, we would be struggling with this a little bit. Um, but we know that because of these mirrors, and this looks to be a, a Latin American country, we know that we are in Guatemala. Also, we are in the Northern Hemisphere, if we look up to the sun, to our south. Um, also kind of helps us narrow it down. We know that we're not in you know, Argentina or, or Bolivia or something like that. Um, but because we can see these mirrors, you can only see these mirrors in a few countries. Um, Obviously, you can see some in Greenland and in Laos and in Kyrgyzstan, Guatemala. Um, but here is obviously due to just the terrain because uh, because of the unique the unique difference between those countries. We know that we are in Guatemala. 
Um, now in terms of the region, uh, we don't have mountains really anywhere near us that I can see, which is quite rare for Guatemala. Usually you can just plonk a guess in Guatemala City, Guatemala, and have a pretty high score. Um, but I could be wrong, this just doesn't really look like anything close to that. So usually the mountains go around through here from Quetzal to Guat. Um, I think we're a little bit more north. Maybe we'll go in outside of Coban. Sounds like a solid guess. And we're about 50 miles away, so not too good of a score on that one. But we knew it was northern Guatemala, so uh, not too terrible. Our final score is going to be 24-318. We did move, though, so not, not typical. Usually I do these dailies without moving, but for the Romania, I really thought it would be best to to move around a little bit. But hopefully um, you guys learned something from this. And if you like this video, like the format, let me know and I can upload um, I can upload some more content like this. So hope this helped. Hope you guys have a great day.